does the origin of the meat itself make a difference? So we're here at Belcampo Farms and we'll, maybe you could talk about what your vision, your dream is on, in, uh, in terms of like food, in terms of where food comes from, where meat comes from, but food broadly, and how that affects the entirety of the, the culinary journey. On the question of where does it come from and does that matter, I'd say the, the way that meat is raised is massively important for flavor and for how it cooks. Um, I think most cooks who try cooking grass-fed versus corn-fed, that's the first moment where they realize that, right? Where corn-fed meat cooks much more slowly. It's got bigger veins of fat that slow the heat transfer throughout the muscle of the animal um, compared to grass-fed, which is leaner. Heat moves through it more quickly. Those steaks will cook much, much faster. So there's very kind of technical reasons why how meat is raised uh, and that we're aware of. And there's other things that I've noticed, like um, that slower growing poultry has a very, very different musculature and fiber to it than fast growing poultry. Mm -hmm. um, that's confinement animals. It's just, it has to do with the way that the muscles are built. They tend to be finer and thinner and more tender um, and a little bit more susceptible to heat. So they, the character of the meat's radically different. It's also much more flavorful when it's grown more naturally. And I think some of the the reliance in the U.S. on like sugary sauces and lots of salts and flavors and things like that's actually based on having the broadly available meat out there is pretty low on flavor. Mm -hmm. And so we're adding in a lot to compensate for that. So to your point of like enjoying things very simply and and with like salt and nothing else, like the more flavorful that product is, I think the more people will find that enjoyable.